I just want to say how proud I am of you for the documentary, for you being able to share something so personal, something that I didn't even know about. You didn't know? I mean, you never really talked to me about it. When I was 16, we moved to New York, and I started sneaking out at night, ditching school, and my parents, they got really scared. So they sent me to a boarding school. They didn't realize it was pure torture camp. I was verbally, physically, emotionally, psychologically just abused on a daily basis. So what did you think when I was gone? I thought it was boarding school. Like, I was so young, you know. Couldn't do anything. I couldn't tell my parents because these places manipulate the parents just as much as they do the children. So anytime I bring it up with mom, she's like, won't even talk about it. She's like, I was scared. You needed to go. Just, I wasn't even doing anything, I think, just because I'm the first daughter and moving to New York, like, being in L.A., having such a like, this strict life where I was very sheltered and not able to go anywhere, and then moving to New York all of a sudden and living at the Waldorf, being able to sneak out and get into every single nightclub in New York and be living the life of, like, a 21-year-old at 16. She was just mm -hmm. scared. This, I would be terrified, too. Like, I think about it now, I'm like... I understand why they were scared because I had a daughter who was 16 and yeah. she was sneaking out and going to all these places. Like, I wouldn't want her around that crowd or any of that. So even though I was mad that she was so strict, I feel like I'm going to be the strictest mom as well. I will no longer be silent and I'm going to use my voice and use my platform and make a change and be the hero that I needed when I was there. so crazy i can't believe it's like i even went through that it's like how is that real life like that's why i spoke up if i didn't say anything like i don't know who would imagine if i just held that in the rest of my life and never said anything probably would have been alone still and single because i didn't want to let anyone in or trust anyone i think that's the most important thing and of course that helps so many people you know but you wow. talk to mom about it um, no, no, they don't really talk about it. Do you feel like you got closure from mom and dad? I just feel like they just don't want to think about it. Just like I didn't want to think about it. Didn't talk about it for 20 years. So I just, it's painful to think about, to like open that up. So have you like had a sit down just like the three of you? No. I don't really know what to say. Perhaps just like having that conversation, just to lay it out, just let them know how you feel. It's hard. Yeah, it's they not don't easy. Like it. They don't like talking about things, really. You know, mom is. Mom is just so fun and like chill, and she doesn't really like to get serious. Like. I've never really had like a serious, like deep conversation about things like that. She's just, she doesn't like to think about bad things. She just likes to be happy. Yeah. Just how she is. I don't want to kill her vibe. <laughs> no, but that's, it could be worth exploring. No. One day. My parents feel bad and regret sending me to Provo, but I don't think that they really understand what I went through because they never watched the documentary. So they don't really know all the details. So I wish we could just one day just sit down and have a real conversation. I just need to get the wedding plan first. I don't want to like cause any drama before that. You know, for so long since I was a teenager, I've really been just holding all this in. And, you know, I'm about to get married and I really just wish we could just talk about it so I can just let it go. Because I feel like I don't know if I'll fully ever release this unless we speak about it. 